Hello, my name is Rick Gregg. I'm the superintendent of the Christina School District. Well, the reconfiguration project really started with a conversation with the governor related to a dual generation center to be created for the students in Wilmington. After we entered into conversations, we started to see a need for us to move into a more effective, efficient way to use the resources that we have available for the students in Christina's Wilmington schools. So as a result, we partnered with the governor's office, the Delaware Department of Education, the Christina Education Association, and our school board to develop a memorandum of understanding for how we would provide services for the students in Wilmington that we serve. Well, what I believe that we absolutely have an opportunity to do here is to make sure that the young folk who are currently going to five schools in Wilmington will be getting the best services possible as we do some things like consolidation down from five buildings down to three buildings. We'll really have an opportunity to bring in some specialized services, some wraparound services that may be needed. There will be health centers in the schools and some things like that that I think are really exciting for the community itself. So one of the exciting things that I think the community will come to understand and see and actually benefit from will be the dual generation center that we are looking to put in one of the locations. The dual generation center will not only house for us all of the kindergarten programs that we're going to have in the city. The Dual Generation Center will actually also have some programs that will benefit the adults that are in the community, specifically and, and first and foremost the parents of the children that we have in Christina. So we're really looking to engage community partners. This isn't just a Christina thing, so I believe the possibilities for us in these buildings are wide open. I grew up in the city of Wilmington. I'm a city of Wilmington product. There's a big difference between how I grew up and how the city was more of a village. The city is now separated. It's not the same as it used to be. And we have to find a way to find a middle ground for students to be successful and teachers to be able to be as successful as well. Anytime that students are given the opportunity to learn more, being at more hours and more days, we're hoping that they retain more information throughout the school year as well as over the summer. So the purpose of adding the 20 school days was specifically to help students retain and hopefully achieve at a higher level. The change is inevitable and I know it's a difficult process as we talk about the closing of schools. I would just ask and continue to try to leverage community supports to see beyond brick and mortar and understanding that we're talking about the lives of children and the lives of families and ensuring that this work is constantly centered around what's best for children. Started out teaching at Bancroft Elementary as a sixth grade teacher. So, you know, my roots are in Christina School District. This was just a further opportunity to be able to support the community that I've dedicated my professional career to. It is our hope always that we engage the community at all levels so that this isn't something that the community sees as being hoisted or forced upon them, but they actually are partners with us at the table as we attempt to make the schools in the city of Wilmington that are under the guidance of the Christina School District the best they can be for those young people. It is so important that we put the tools and the people in place that are best for delivering the educational processes that we need. I envision you know, every child being able to have the access to high quality educators, those that are engaged with not only the child but their families. And ultimately I see parents engaged and, and families actually looking back and saying that it was the right decision that was made to maximize the resources and to ensure that each child, regardless of where neighborhood they may come from or what situation or circumstance that they may see themselves in, are actually benefiting from everything that the school has to offer. It's my hope that in the coming years we will actually see that what we're doing now not only moves the needle positively for these young people, but actually serves as a model for how different entities, both in the community and in the education sphere, can begin to collaborate to make education better for all the children, not just in Christina, not just in Wilmington, but throughout the state of Delaware. I think what excites me the most about it is that we have a lot of people who aren't so sure that we're going to be able to make it happen. And I think that it's a phenomenal opportunity for us to pool resources together with the financial support of the Department of Education and the Governor's Office to be able to provide 
an environment that's going to help students thrive. So the exciting challenge to me is that we're gonna make it happen and I like a challenge and I think that we have the right people in place that can make it happen. And as long as we have the support along the way, I think we'll be able to put the resources in place that will serve the students. Thank you.